Okay, once again, um, I'd like to welcome you to this webinar of the IPMA International Project Excellence Award. We have lots of exciting things to tell you and I'm looking forward to doing this webinar. Please let me remind you, if you have any questions, uh, place them in the chat box on the right-hand corner of your screen and we will answer them as quickly as possible. I'd like to welcome uh, some of you who have been involved in the awards before. I see some familiar names and I would like to especially welcome those of you who are not familiar with the Excellence Awards and please ask the questions if you have them. Um, the people listening in are representing different areas of the world which is very exciting and also you are a combination of people that are involved as assessor or potential assessors in the uh, awards uh, process and also there are some potential applicants uh, attending this presentation. Let's move on. The IPMA International Project Management Association was founded in 1965. Last year we celebrated our 50th anniversary with a very successful World Congress in Panama. Um, IPMA is actually the world's first international project management association and we're quite proud of this fact. At the moment we are present in 65 countries and representing all continents of the world. Present means that we have local member associations in almost all of these 65 countries and the number seems to be growing uh, rapidly. These individual or these member associations, these are the local chapters as we like to call them of IPMA International. The presentation I'm doing today is about the international awards. IPMA as a organization in focusing on project management has several products and services in place. Um, first of all is are the, the World Congresses which now take place every other year. So every two years there's a World Congress which is a um, week-long event. Uh, we have a young crew, a very active young crew um, group that have workshops before the Congress. We have the Congress itself which is a combination of many interesting presentations and workshops in the different areas of project management and we also have um, other events taking place there for Project Excellence Awards finalists. So this is what happens at the World Congresses. IPMA also has a very active research group. These are researchers representing universities and research institutes that organize conferences and uh, meetings on their own. And in addition we have expert seminars and advanced courses that take place. And new development in the IPMA products and services category is that we now have a complete set of uh, standardization uh, tools. Those are the three documents that you see in the middle. Um, they are uh, international standards in the area of uh, OCB, Organizational Competence Baseline, the PEB, the Project Excellence Baseline, and the ICB, the Individual Competence Baseline, which is used for IPMA uh, certification. So the ICB is actually validated by the National Certification Institute. Next to all these tools and services we also have uh, make use of uh, the internet and the web. So we have an IPMA blog, there is an IPMA Facebook fan page and an IPMA LinkedIn group and especially the IPMA Facebook which is also sometimes called the IPMA family uh, page is a very active uh, tool that's being used by people traveling the world and telling us about their experiences. Finally, in the products and services area, we have the IPMA International Project Excellence Award, which takes place on a yearly basis. We have the Research Awards, uh, also on a yearly basis, and the IPMA Achievement Awards. And the Achievement Awards focuses on recognizing excellence in uh, social and um, project manager and young project manager of the year. Um, as a coincidence, uh, Ava Bednarczyk and I are at the um, second project excellence assessment training of this year taking place in Warsaw at the moment and we're very excited to say that there are 27 people in the room next to us working very diligently on understanding the new project excellence baseline that is used to assess and identify excellent projects. So we're looking forward to a very interesting year 
and in interesting projects that are entering this excellence competition. What you see on the right, the Winners Club and the Award Gala are the events that take place around the notification of the finalists and the winners of all these awards. So the awards process will actually start in April, May and then um, in the second quarter of this year, around October, the winners will be announced. Um, and at the, at the Congress there will also be several events organized for Project Excellence Awards finalists where benchmarking can take place, um, exchanges of experiences can take place, and applicant projects can present their unique projects in an international setting. And the prizes are actually handed out at the awards gala. Um, just to go back to uh, the standards I discussed uh, briefly just now, we have uh, the ICB for individuals and um, in October last year, or end of September, sorry, the ICB version number four was accepted by the Council of Delegates. It's a newly designed competence baseline built for people working in projects, programs and portfolios and it's actually used as the, uh, the basis in order to get IPMA certified. Now IPMA has a four level certification uh, process um, allowing project managers, program managers, portfolio managers to be certified according to the levels uh, D to A. Newly introduced at the same time, uh, the end of September, was the PEB, the Project Excellence Baseline, which describes the context around excellence in projects and also includes the Project Excellence model in the appendix, which is used to, as a reference uh, in order to assess uh, excellent project in the Project Excellence Award competition. So the PEB is built for projects and is built for achieving excellence in projects and programs. So it cannot be used for portfolios, but it can be used for projects and programs, not only as a um, competition reference tool, but you can also use it as a benchmarking tool within your own organization. And it identifies the areas, the criteria, and the sub-criteria that you could look at when looking for excellence. So the PEB will allow you to get recognized as project or as program. Uh, the third product in our uh, toolkit is the OCB. It's called the um, Organizational Competence Baseline and it's developed for um, developing competence and managing them in uh, by or managed by projects, sorry. And the OCB also has a, an assessment tool it's called IPMA Delta which uses the OCB in order to assess a organization's results, project's results. Um, as it says the sheet at the top, the OCB was already in place, the ICB has been um, upgraded to version 4 and the PEB is new and as you can see uh, there's been a new house style developed so our products look very nice we think. You can use uh, these three tools to cycle up your career, which means that if you want to get certified, you use the ICB. If you want your project to get recognized, you can use the PEB. And in order to receive best, achieve the best results, you can use the OCB. So there's a link between these three products that can help you improve yourself, help you improve your projects, and help you improve your organization. Just to go into some more detail about this recognition with the PEB, our newly developed Project Excellence Baseline. Um, as I said before, it's built for achieving excellence in projects and programs, but there are also other uses. So you can also use it to benchmark your project and program performance within a organization or between organization. You can discover and identify excellent uh, lessons in uh, project management areas uh, and your project program areas. And what it also can help you do is to recognize excellent leadership. These are some of the aspects that lead to excellent project results. As I said before, there's a family of awards that is tied into these tools. The Project Excellence Award uses the Project Excellence model 
The IPMA Research Award uh, uses different tools, and the IPMA Achievement Awards is um, handed out on the basis of an application and instructions for application reports. So the Achievement Awards focus on recognizing um, outstanding social projects. It focuses on recognizing outstanding project managers and also outstanding junior project managers.